Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yes. So we are, hmm, this is going to be really good. So I'm Angela Odom, and I am so excited. Woo. It's uh, episode 42 of Better You TV. How about that? We are discussing today, we're discussing what is a great leader look like. So first, come on in, come on in, come on in. And let me, let me make sure I get myself together. Y'all know how we do. Go ahead and, um, go ahead and share this goodness with uh, people who will get something out of it, right? So I'm Angela Odom. Uh, you know how most women undervalue themselves? Most women undervalue themselves. So I help women um, grow and develop their personal leadership skills so they can get promoted, progress in their uh, career, and then thrive within their social environments. Y'all come on in, come on in, come in. Let me get myself together first. I, my other laptop is over here. I want to make sure that um, that I am streaming over here. So it's Tuesday at noon. This is a Better You TV. So every Tuesday at noon, bam, we're talking about a leadership theme topic. And I want to first make sure you can see me and hear me as we uh, progress through. And it looks like I am uh, here. And also, I need to see the comments. So y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. We'll start uh, getting into the nitty-gritty. Nitty-gritty. Here we go. So let's make sure I can hear you. All right, let me know if you can hear me out there. I'm looking for comments. And uh, okay, okay. So, there we go. I think that's working. So let's go ahead and get uh, started here. I'm pretty grateful to be here with you all. So if you know anyone who can benefit from this goodness, go ahead and share, start a like, uh, start a watch party. Yeah, you go ahead and like and comment all throughout. Everybody like a little feedback, right? So today uh, we are, okay, there we go. All right. So, like I said before, so I'm I'm Angela Odom, and of course, military service was a pathway for me. And here we are today talking about uh, other leadership theme project pro, pro, products. Okay. Good morning. I do not know how much I can listen because oh, it's mammogram time. That's right. Way to go, in back. I'll share the video later. Won't be able, okay. That's what I'm talking about. You got to get the girls checked out. I see. Uh, I see you over there, Mo. Uh, getting the girls checked out today. Um, okay, let's keep it moving. And so today what you you will discover is your bias towards men and women. Also, you'll discover shifts to consider when talking about leaders and leadership. The definition of leadership, actually mine. I'm going to share my definition of leadership with you. And then also 13 attributes, characteristics, and traits that can be learned through practice and repetition, All right? That's what we'll do today. So what does a great leader look like? I mean, really, like, what's a great leader look like? Is, it a, is a great leader a woman? Yes. <laughs> is a great leader a man? Yes. Is a, um, is a great leader young, middle-aged, or seasoned, you know, older? Yes. Is a great leader taller than you? Yes. Is a great leader shorter than you? Yes. Is a great leader black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Latino, Pacific Islander, African, Native American, or, you know, whatever? Yes. Is a great leader an introvert or an extrovert? Yes. <laughs> Does a great leader work from home or in an office environment? Yes. Is a great leader loud, 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 loud or quiet? Yes. Is a great leader wealthy, rich, middle class, living below the poverty line or dirt poor? Yes. So really, so as I went through that list, what biases came up from you, you know, for yourself? You were listening and saying, well, well I don't know if a, if, a, if a great leader might be rich or poor, 
if a great leader might be a man or a woman or, or black or white or, or whatever it is, uh, someone working from home or not, what biases came up for you? Um, and so if you were thinking anything besides yes, when those questions were rolling through, then type yes, Y-E-S. If anything was coming to your mind like, mm, I don't know if there's a great leader or not. Um, and it's okay because we all have some type of some type of bias. We all do. So what does a great leader look like? And of course, this is Better You TV. I, I want you to just shift. And I mean like in your mind, in your your concept, your perspective, your vantage point. I want you to shift. Right? I want you to shift from considering whether someone is a um you know, a woman, a man, boy, or girl, shift from considering that, right? Once you can sit, um, shift from considering whether someone is black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Latino, or other, just shift from that, shift away from that. Shift away from considering whether someone is tall, short, or wide. You notice I said wide, right? <laughs> oh, I don't want to say the other word, but anyway. Then shift away from considering whether someone is wealthy or rich or living below the poverty line or, or dirt poor. Shift. And I did not say middle class because I'm telling you what, most people are like two or three paychecks away from living below the poverty line or dirt poor. So middle that whole middle class thing, I always get a big chuckle when I see or hear someone say that. I'm like, yeah, you got a lot of debt, so shut it up. <laughs> Oh, that's my own bias. You hear it coming out? So shift away from considering whether someone is wealthy or rich or living below the poverty line or dirt poor. You want to shift away from considering whether someone is an introvert or extrovert, right? You want to shift from, away from considering whether someone works from home or in a cubicle or in the C-suite, right? You want to go towards, forward, to considering whether someone is an effective or ineffective leader, because in the big scheme of things, that's what truly matters. Is a person effective or ineffective? You want to consider whether someone is influencing the outcomes or daily workflow. If they are influencing the outcomes of daily workflow, I'm not sure if how tall they are or their skin color or their background, you know, that um, their race or ethnicity, I messed that word up and it's okay. <laughs> if that actually matters in the big scheme of things, now do we consider it anyway? Because, you know, in America we got all kind of stuff coming at us, right? <laughs> but I want you to step back and I want you to consider whether someone is influencing the outcomes or daily workflow. Because really this perspective will allow you and me then we just focus on results, right, the end game. And, of course, the process of getting there matters so much, but we're sometimes clouded by all kind of other things that, quite frankly, don't matter. So type shift if you are open to these considerations. And I know some of you are uh, in places where you cannot, uh, you know, type right now. But if you're watching this on a replay, then you do the same thing. Type in shift. And for the folks who are watching live, I'm looking for shift, shift, shift. Or maybe you're not, and it's okay. So what does a great leader look like? Um, when discussing any topic, you know, the first thing we want to do is we want to define it. Because sometimes we're we're actually we're actually talking past one another, right? We're talking past one another. And I said, Oh, I thought you meant, oh, I didn't understand that. Oh, when you first said that, I thought you were talking about A, B, and C. So the first thing you want to do is you want to define uh, the topic when you're talking to people. Especially if you just meet someone, you say, oh, yeah, this is what I mean by that. And it's, you know, that's how it might come out. This is, uh, uh, you know, defining the thing. It really just helps with, communi with the communi communication process because based on uh, distractions, or, you know, experiences and backgrounds, dialect, all these things. Uh, we could say a word and someone could interpret it to mean something else based on the way they see it, right? So first thing you do is you define as you're talking. You define it, define it, define that thing. 
And so for me, I know for sure if I was able to uh, ask 10 people to define leader or leadership, then guess what we're going to do? We're going to get 10 different answers. We're going to get 10 different answers when he asks. When we ask this question, say, hey, hey so what's that? What, what do you mean by leader? What's leadership for you? Then everybody's got their own opinion based on their own experience, right? And so for me, this is Angie Odom's uh, definition. Leadership is a process of influencing others to attain specified and unspecified goals. That's the way I see it, right? And so yours might be a little different. You might add a different word. He's like, why do you say attain instead of this? Why you say what? <laughs> so I believe it's a process. I believe leadership is a process. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure what your definition is, but you can type process if you're open to my definition. If you're open to it, just type process, process, process. So what does a good, a great leader look like? I want to ask you to consider replacing the word great with effective. And, you know, I've heard, you know, of course, since the book says going from good to great, and you hear people say good, bad, ugly, or, or you know, whatever it is in, in regards to people that are in positions of authority. And so I want you to consider replacing the word great with effective when you're thinking about um, how someone is, right? And so type effective if you're open to replacing the word great with effective. Uh, so we we'll go back to what is a what is a, a great leader look like? This is a lot right here. I put it on one uh, sheet so you can just you know take it all in, You're like <gasps> take it all in, right? So a great leader, an effective leader, right? An effective leader, a great leader. So a good leader, bad um, person, right? Good leader, great leader. An effective leader is what I'd ask you to consider. That person is accountable, right? That person is accountable. They take responsibilities for um, for all kind of stuff that's happening, seen and unseen, good, bad, and ugly. When it's really, really ugly, you're looking for that person to step up, right? Uh, that person is future-oriented, and that means that uh, a person is a able to consider and focus on the long term and look at uh, the impact of decisions and choices right now, then they're looking for um, what uh, developmental needs are, 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 are in line for their employees, for the organization. They're looking long term, right? Um, and also they're positive. They can seek opportunity and valuable lessons in all experiences. Like when something happens, it's like, ooh, that was but ugly. And then, you know, the the leader, the effective leader, the uh, the one that I mostly respect is the one that say, you know what? Yeah, so that happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But guess what? We can still savage this project. We can still go back and and um, uh, yeah, I know you I know you flopped on that on that presentation. But guess what? We can we can take some parts of it and still use it. You know, whatever that might be. Oh, my God, you missed that deadline. But guess what? We can we can figure out how to. Um, uh, show up better and greater than the next time, right? Or you're fired. <laughs> I have any lessons, right? That's the opportunity. So positive, uh, strong communicators. Oh, uh, I love it when I'm talking to someone and they are speaking effectively and persuasively. Now, they can have some uhs in their ah, ooh, ooh. You know, they can have all those things in uh, different dialects. Uh, the point is that we're not talking ask one another. We might not agree on every single topic. We might disagree on a whole bunch of things. However, if they're speaking effectively, then I understand the message they are conveying. That's what I mean by strong communicators. We don't have to like what they're saying, but I do understand what they're saying, right? Um, he also establishes uh, clear goals, trustworthy, uh, self-aware. You know, I believe that self-aware women win. Self-aware women win, and that is because of emotional intelligence. You're able to deal with difficult people and difficult issues, right? So self-aware women win. I need a T-shirt with that on it. Self-aware women win. Um, we understand the whole Maslow's, um, you know, process 
if I'm focused on this one thing, like shelter and food, and I cannot possibly see um, the next level. I need to have this right here taken care of first. So self-awareness means that you understand where you are and where your um, team is, you know, what they value and what's important, what's, what's distracting them. You're self-aware. You have emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence really means you're able to manage your own um, emotions or you understand the triggers um, that you're facing, right? So develops uh, relationships that matters. A lot of time I hear people like, well, I'm in a, I'm in a work uh, environment where uh, the people don't like me. Well, go to the folks that do, <laughs> right? Uh, develop relationships with the people that really matter. Sometimes the loudest voice is not the, the voice that you are compelled to uh, connect with, right? And sometimes even the people that are, are a little uh, challenging, you might learn the most from them, right? Um, also, a great leader is agile. That means that uh, the only thing that's uh, that's really promised or we know is happening is change. So a person who is able to adjust to change, that's what the great leader looks like, able to take direction and insight from all angles, all levels, Right? Able to take direction and insight from all angles. You get somebody who is uh, already know everything. I mean, that's a that's a dangerous uh, situation right there, and not able to accept uh, feedback or criticism. Uh, you know, you have to talk to them a certain way. Are you kidding me? So able to take direction and insight from all angles uh, builds teams. A lifelong learner, and also helps others. Um, Help uh, folks build their personal leadership skills, meaning they train, mentor, and coach others, right? So you probably say, well, I've got some other things I could add to that list. Yes, of course you do. This right here is um, what I believe a great leader look like. And there's other attributes, uh, characteristics, and traits. But this right here, I think, is a good place to start. So the good news is that each of these uh, leadership attributes, characteristics, and traits can be learned through practice and repetition, right? Like you can learn. You can learn how to uh, be a better listener, right? You can learn how to set, uh, set up uh, clear goals. You can learn how to do that. You can learn how to look forward, have a vision, be able to convey that to others, be future-oriented. You definitely, uh, if you don't know how to be accountable and take responsibility, you will learn it right now. <laughs> and so you can learn these things, right? So what does a great leader look like? So this is Better You TV, uh, episode 42. I'm Angela Odom, and again, most women undervalue themselves. So I, I help women build their personal leadership skills so they can get promoted and they can progress in their careers and they can actually thrive in their um, social environments. That's what I do. So what I shared today was your bias towards men and women. So you might not have written it down, but I know something came up for you like, hmm, I don't know if that type of person is a great leader. And that might be a bias that you have. Uh, I did provide some things I'd like you to, to um, shift away from when talking about leaders and leadership. And also I shared my definition of leadership. And, you know, again, if we talked to 10 different people, then guess what? We got 10 different variations of the definition of leadership. And when we start any conversation, you want to first uh, establish uh, a definition for what you're talking about or, you know, a basis from which both of you can go as you're having a conversation you know, back and forth. Um, and then also uh, attributes, characteristics, and traits that, you, that can be learned through practice and uh, repetition. What think of that? I think that was pretty cool, right? So for the ones who, for uh, the people who were like, you know what? Oh, that was pretty interesting. I, I, I like the way you presented that. We're going to do a leadership communication, a three-day um, live stream training uh, on uh, November 5th through the 7th. And we'll start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leadership communication, that'll be, uh, you know, a little old me. And we'll go through that um, and get some get a, get get some um, a clear understanding of leadership communication. 
right? So you go ahead and join us in the Better You Project, the community, which is a, a closed group, right? So go go ahead and uh, join us there, man. Again, if you like this and you want more, then join uh, join us in the Better You Project community. And of course, it's just the Better You Project. You just go uh, right there to the Facebook group. And for the folks who uh, you know can benefit from the goodness on the Better You TV for women leaders, go ahead and share, start our uh, uh, watch party, like and comment. And we'll see you on Tuesday, Tuesday at noon on the Better You TV with Angela Odom. Be sure to join us on uh, November 5th at 7 p.m., November 5th, 6th, and 7th at 7 p.m., and we'll go through leadership uh, communication. It'll be a three-day uh, live stream training, right? All right, with that said, you all have a great uh, rest of the day, and look for an effective leader today. <laughs>